Check it out. Check it out. The great curator in Hobby Korea. <laughs> That's me. And just in case, just in case you didn't know, I wear the shirt too. I wear the shirt too. <laughs> My name is Daniel Wynn, and by day I invest in collectibles. But by night, I also make videos about investing in collectibles. I am the great curator, and I invite you to join me on my journey to break even in the hobby that we all love. All right, guys, I have made it. I'm here at Hobby Korea. This is, apparently this is like the premier hobby shop in Korea. Um, it took me a while to get out here. The weather is freezing. I should have a jacket on, but I'm freezing my butt off. But we finally made it here. I'm super excited. They've been super nice to open up the shop early for me. Uh, they're gonna give us a tour and they're gonna show us what kind of cool stuff they have. So, let's go. Right off the bat, I want this. Whatever this is, I want it. This is a bad, <laughs> this is badass. This Jordan figure, oh my God, look at that. Look at the scale, it comes with the MVP trophy. Oh, the championship trophy, a ball, that is so cool. That is so cool. All right, oh, this, this is Sung Hoon. <laughs> Sung Hoon, he is, he is the, uh, the ambassador for Hobby Korea here. <laughs> and you are, what's your role here? You're the sales representative? Yes, I'm a sales representative, and then yeah. I'm also for the representative on our YouTube channel. Oh, YouTube channel. They have their own content here, so go check out their YouTube. What's their YouTube channel called? It's called Hobby Korea. Hobby Korea, okay. So check them out on YouTube. Um, he's been kind enough to uh, give us his time today so he can show us around. So please, give me a tour. Okay, so. Um, Hobby Korea, we are the official distributor of the Tops and the Upper Deck, and we are the official dealer of the Panini. And the bi uh, biggest store in Korea? Yes. The biggest store? We are like the headquarters of Korea. He headquarters, that's why they call themselves Hobby Korea. Okay. So this is, this is your single section? Yes. Mm. Oh, I noticed, look at this, Marvel cards. Marvel cards. Wrestling cards, UFC golf cards. So you guys have a little bit, you gotta have everything here. Yes, so so you, they, they cater everything. So it's not just necessarily sports cards. It's all types of cards. I saw something on your screen there of uh, women's basketball. Oh yeah. So we also have our own brand, which is called Epic. Oh, you make these cards? Yes. Licensed? Yes. We made this. And this is for this is for women's basketball. Yes, legend, this is popular. The legend, legend women's basketball players plus current. It look like this. Oh, look at these. Popular. Look at these uh, autographs. These autographs are crazy. Yeah, and then well, we uh, we made this on purpose because uh, okay. there's one legendary women's baseball player who who was a national team who was uh -huh. a national team uh -huh. and then she had like a cancer so we we made it we made this part for charity oh wow yeah, for so, charity to benefit her so all of the all of the purchase goes to her oh yeah. wow really yes everything 100 yes. percent wow and this is 165 thousand won which is i'm not sure how much that is in u.s dollars right <laughs> In dollar, even like one thirty or one forty. Okay, one thirty, one forty. Interesting. And you have everything here. I see that you've got uh, cabbage, garbage pail kids. Yes. There, people buy that stuff here. Garbage pail kids. Are you serious? Yeah. Um, people buy that. Yeah. The new Wonder Vision cards. These just came out from Upper Deck, mm -hmm. so that's pretty cool. I. What is that? Is that K-pop cards right there? Oh, this one. <laughs> I've been looking for K-pop cards when I'm out here, you know? Yeah. What is this? Um, she's called Hyomin. She was uh, she was a famous member of the the previous the women's group, which is called the Tiara. Tiara, I know that group. Mm. So she this is like her, her individual solo box. And do uh, all the K-pop stars have stuff like this or not really. So this is new. Yeah. Uh, well, well, th this is not the new, but but this is like one of a kind of things. Yeah. Are people buying this? Uh, some people. Really? Yeah. Home? yeah. Uh, but I was very interested in this because I've had Blackpink and BTS cards before back home and mm -hmm. people buy it really quick. <laughs> They're very popular back home. Yeah. So, okay, check this out. They had some Star Wars down here too. F1 boxes, but here's the Boba Fett Star Wars. Uh, and back there he's got 
uh, Tops Black Chrome. You had Galaxy, but Galaxy sold out. Yes. Very popular. Yeah, because last year's Galaxy was really, really cool. Yeah. Really cool, and plus it was, it was really cheap, right? Yes. So a lot of Star Wars fans in, in Korea, they had a hype for uh -huh. uh, the next year, like this year's yeah. Star Wars Galaxy. Uh -huh. So it's all gone. Okay, yeah. interesting. It's not my fault, guys. It's not my fault, okay? <laughs> I see wrestling. They have wrestling here, too, so that's really cool. And then what else do we have? This is your, like, this is your dollar box area that, like, singles people can yes. thread through. Okay. We, uh, like, we don't actually have, like, super rare cards uh -huh. because the super rare cards will be, like, super expensive. So yes. we are actually, like, a, like a customer-friendly store. So uh -huh, we yeah. don't actually want to, like, press the people to buy like expensive single cards, yeah. you know? Yeah. You have like kids that come in here or mainly adults? Yeah, yeah, like like a lot, both. Okay. Yeah, like in, uh, at weekend there's a lot of like students who is like elementary school. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, and they, they, they buy packs and open? Yes. Interesting. And do you guys hold events too? Like trade nights or card shows or anything? Oh, like we are trying to open the card show so we are preparing. What is the, the hobby the Korean hobby market like? Is it very similar to the US where, uh, you know, there's a lot of flippers, people coming in trying to make money on it? Is it more collector focused out here? Mm. What's the vibe? I must say like it's half and half. Yeah, there's, mm. uh, there's a collectors, there's like 50% like of collectors and then, no, I must say like 70% of collectors, 30% mm -hmm. of like investors. Yeah, we're big money, big yeah, money here, yeah, out here. So, okay, so I, I, I did my research out here. There's not too many card stores out here. That's so, right. so would you say that the uh, the hobby community is, is relatively small and growing, or is this like the best it's ever been? I must say it's growing, yeah. and then and then we are helping to our to our partners to grow more uh -huh. because as a as a headquarter in Korea, so we we also have a lot of like a lot of car styles we are connected together. Right. Yeah, so okay. so we are trying to uh, we are trying our best to survive together. You know? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So you think that there's a lot of room to grow in Korea? I think so too because um, um, starting with uh, starting with the COVID, you know. Right. Yeah. I think it's really similar situation with US. Uh -huh. People staying home and then people just like look around their garage and then they just found like a, their like old single cars they yeah. used to collect, right? So in Korea, it was pretty much same. Yeah. yeah, it was pretty much same. So there's a lot of like customers who who brought their old cars to us, uh -huh. and then they asked asked us about uh, how much for this now. Yeah. yeah. Do you, do you think so? That so you think that maybe right now it's still in the beginning stages, but could you see that in here in Seoul, Korea, where there could be a card show every month? And there could be more people opening shops and doing I, a lot of trading. I must say, car show every month will be really difficult to uh -huh. do. It. Uh, but but I can say like once or twice a year can be happening. Okay. And then uh, and then like as I told you, we are like we are growing together. Yeah. So and then we have uh, we think we have a lot of responsibility to uh, to grow the together. company, yes. Hobby Korea. Yes. To 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 be the leader. Yeah. To in be the Korea. leader of the the. This yeah. scene, yeah. the representative of this right. scene in Korea. Right. And you guys are planning your own cards show sometime this year. Yes. So yeah, I, I think that's a great idea because I look at everything out here, I see the same pattern of, as what happened in America, mm -hmm. where the collector base, very strong collector base, very passionate, but now they see value in the cards and they're putting more money into it. And there's a lot of like really well, wealthy people here in Korea who have a lot of money that they can pour into the hobby. And if they see, if other people see that and they see that you can make money, mm -hmm. other people join and, and I can see uh, the community out here growing for sure. So there's definitely a lot of opportunities in Korea for sure for card, card uh, stores, uh, online breaking, card uh, shows, um, and all sorts of stuff. Everything. I appreciate your time today uh, showing us around. I'm gonna get these frozen <laughs> stickers. You can't, you can't get this in America, okay? <laughs> this is, this is a Korean exclusive Panini, 
Frozen stickers for my daughter. She's gonna love it. So I have a special gift for you, okay? I was showing him the slab mags here. Uh, they don't have slab mags in Korea. They don't really sell these things. You have to import this from America here. So uh, part of what I'm doing here today is slab mags is uh, sponsoring my video. Uh, they wanted me to come out here as a brand ambassador to, to Hobby Korea, show you guys this product. And as a special gift, I'm gonna give you a slab mag of your own, okay? Uh, sponsored by Slab Mags. We're gifting, Slab Mags is gifting one to uh, Sung Hoon here for being a good representative and, and good host for us. So you can take that, if you like Very it, close. you can, you, maybe you guys can be the, uh, the leading uh, distributor for Slab Mags here. And then to answer your question before, this is the insert. This is the one touch insert Ooh. that goes in here. So if you have a, uh, like a one touch, you put it in there so it doesn't have to be a slab. Oh, wow. Okay, and then uh, you can hold it that way or you can just keep it like this, That's okay? So check it out. Mm. So very high quality, uh, made of aluminum. Here's a, a latch here where you just pop it up and it comes out like that. UV protection on both sides, okay? So you can put like a card in there. You don't have to worry, like if it's a refractor, you don't have to worry about it turning green or an autograph fading or anything like that. So what? Yeah, oh, he's, oh he, check it out, guys. Yeah. He's putting out, this guy's a huge wrestling fan, Korea's number one wrestling collector here, okay? He's putting the, the Ricky Dragon Steamboat uh, Tops Legend. Is this numbered? Yes. Oh, 22 of 99 in there, okay. Yeah, like so, that. Mm. Oh, this car just became, this car just became 10% more valuable. Looks okay, good. it has a premium feel. And then, if you want, you can take off the film here. There's a, yes. Oh. 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 <laughs> Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh he, he might need a moment. He oh might need a moment, God. guys. Yeah. Okay. Oh. But there it is. Beautiful. Seconds. Beautiful. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so now, now he's gonna go buy 50 more slab bags. Okay. It's beautiful. Yes. Yes. Much, yes. No yeah. problem. Every, Thank you. Really Thank you for having us here. I really appreciate it. This is a beautiful store. I'm super excited to see how you guys grow the community out here. I like the idea. I think what you're doing is very, very important in terms of taking a leadership role for the community out here, um, hosting events and bringing in product that other people can't. So that's super cool. Uh, hopefully I see you at the National yes. uh, and, and we hear more about them. And then also guys, uh, try to support their YouTube channel, their Instagram. And also we have our web page too. A web page, okay. Is it in English? Uh, yeah, we have also a global page. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Okay. How do people get in contact with you? Um, What's the best way? Actually, Instagram. Instagram is the best way to contact him uh, through the Hobby Korea Instagram. Yes. Okay, Hobby Korea Instagram. If somebody wanted like something that was very hard to get in America that that, that, that was exclusive to Korea, like K-pop cards, for example, Hyun Sun cards, things like that, you guys can help them. We will figure out the answer. Okay. Yeah. All right. So if you guys need anything, you it, DM them on Instagram. All right, so that wraps up my tour of Hobby Korea. I went out to lunch with Sung Hoon afterwards and we just talked about the hobby the entire time. It was a great conversation. He was such a gracious host, so I wanna thank him for his time there. My two takeaways from visiting Hobby Korea was number one, I was impressed by the amount of variety of cards that they had there. It's not just sports cards, they had alternative cards, entertainment cards, pop culture cards, pretty much something for everybody. So that was really cool to see. The second thing that impressed me was their focus on entry level cards. It's very easy for us to always talk about the high end stuff, the expensive cards, but when you're trying to build a community of collectors, it's very important to have cards that are affordable for people that are new to the hobby or people who just don't want to spend a, a ton of money on cards, especially kids. You have to have those entry level products for them to collect, have fun, and enjoy the hobby for what it is. And that wraps up my trip to Korea. Um, I had a lot of fun coming out here, visiting the shops, meeting the people, learning about Korean hobby culture. I was very surprised that it's actually very similar to how we do things in America. They love to collect the same things that we do and it just shows you that the hobby is truly is global. It doesn't matter where you're from, where you live. If you love cards, you love collecting, then you can appreciate the hobby and that's super cool. So I'm excited to see how the community grows in Korea and I will definitely be back again. I'm the green. Great curator, the ultimate gentleman investor. Yeah, the great, great curator always stays till the gold digging hour. So watch out, all you bad actors, cause you don't have the slaps to be kind and civil and polite to us all. Stays till the gold digging 
ask a favor? Could you put my YouTube video on there? <laughs> okay. <laughs> for, for the video, just for the video. Uh, 